In this video, we will discuss how to make a one room plan. Here, we will first talk about this external rectangle. So, we have to give its dimension in x axis and in y axis because whenever we draw a rectangle, we first have to give dimension in x axis and then in y axis. This yellow shade, this yellow is a shadow of this room, four feet away from room. So, four feet and the wall is six inches. Walls are six or eight inches, which is standard. Four feet six inches, then eighteen feet. So it will be twenty-two feet and six inches. Again six inches. So 23 feet, 23 feet and this 4 feet, so it is 27 feet in x axis. Now in y axis 4 feet, 6 inches and 14 feet because x axis is written first then y axis. So 4 and 6 inches, 4 feet 6 inches then and 14 feet. So it will be 18 feet 6 inches again 6 inches so 19 feet 19 feet and this 4 feet so it will be 23 feet so our rectangle is 27 by 23 so we will start command of rectangle REC in command bar then click anywhere at the rate 27 feet which is an x-axis comma 23 feet and press enter rectangle is formed in order to move your rectangle type M enter click on your rectangle enter click anywhere and move well the external rectangle is formed now the internal rectangle which is at 4 feet so we will copy this parallelly at 4 feet by the command of offset. How to do? Simply type O in your command bar, press enter and the distance which is 4 feet and again enter. Click on your rectangle. We have to copy it inside. So we will move our mouse inside and not outside and click. This is formed. now 6 inch wall all the walls are 6 inches so we will again offset it 6 inches 4 inches we don't need to put the sign of inches which is double dashes but for feet we have to give the sign of feet which is single dash but for inches we can write without the symbol well now click on it and copy now we will make door, windows and ventilator and then apply layers. So before watching this video you must watch video of door, window and ventilator and a video of layers. Now let's start. We have to break this rectangle into different entities. What I mean is that if I click here whole rectangle is selected but I want to select only this line and not the whole rectangle so what I will do is I will establish command of X load type X in your command bar and enter click on both of your rectangles and enter now I can select single lines as well as you can see on the screen now offset of 3 feet why 3 feet because our door is of 3 feet 3 by 7 the actually this second dimension 4 4 1 7 this is height and in AutoCAD 2D we don't deal with height and the which is written first the dimension 6 4 2 3 it is length and we deal with length and width well so door is 3 feet I have to take offset at 3 feet 
this line and this line as you can see this in doors video which is especially for door now i am doing it fastly because i have explained this in another video of door so our door is formed and now window window is uh, window 1 is 6 by 4 we will we will not consider 4 uh, and we will consider 6 for windows must watch another video which is especially for windows i am doing it it directly here because i have explained this thing in another video so i am doing this directly here but must watch that video now window 2 window 2 is 4 by 4 rectangle in the x axis we have 6 inches which is wall and then the length of window which is 4 feet again doing same thing for window and now ventilator which is 2 by 1 horizontal means x axis is 6 inches again rectangle at the right 6 inches and 2 feet this formed as i have uh, done text directly in this video and uh, have made these layers directly so you must watch video of layers separately now i am applying these video uh, these things uh, for windows we are now applying layers we will apply layer which we made for window and then s key for walls like walls in this way and then walls text and from here layer of text ventilator s key for door for shadow thank you